Okay, so again, what are what are, is this short section about? It's about we're in three dimensions, and if I have a force, right, and I've got the magnitude, say 100 newton, but because I'm in three dimensions, I would like to convert um, this force and other forces, right? I would I want to convert them into vector form, into i's, j's, and k's, which means I need the x, the y, and the z components of the force. So in the previous video, we saw that we can con do this conversion by calculating a unit vector in the direction of the force by calculating the position vector and dividing by the magnitude of that position vector. And that gives us a unit vector multiplied by that force which converts it into a force. The second way of converting this into a vector is by is by knowing these angles. So say now I've got that exact same force and I want to convert it into x, y, and z. Um, and we are given this information. We're given angles. So, so this is how we would do it. Uh, if we want to calculate the x and y, the first thing we do is we say we calculate this projection of f onto the xy plane. All right, so we've got f, it's in three-dimensional space, and we, we've got this angle phi. Angle phi is the angle between the vector and the xy plane. And so we say fxy is the magnitude of f cos phi, cos times phi. So we've got this force now, or this component of the force in the xy plane, but that's not quite, we're not quite finished yet. I need to now project this into the x direction and project that onto the y direction. So if I've got that angle there, theta, then I say fxy cos theta gives me fx. And fxy sine theta gives me fy. So let's recap. I've got this force. I want to get fx and fy. I first project it onto the floor using f cos phi. And then I project it into x and y. So I go f cos phi. That's, that's f cos phi. But then I have to say cos theta again to get my fx. And then I say f cos phi sine theta to get fy. But now what about fz? Well, that's a bit simpler, it's just this vertical component there, which is f sine phi. So now I've, I've, I've got my three components. Now I can say f is equal to um, this, f cos phi cos theta i plus f cos phi sine theta j plus f sine phi k, right? I can just put in fx, fy, and fz, i, j, and k. And now I've converted this guy into a three-dimensional vector. Okay.